Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at the Glasgow Comma Scale. Right, um, to remember the Glasgow Comma Scale easily, uh, I have an acronym which is uh, EVM standing for Electric Vehicle Motor because I'm a fan of electric vehicles, but you can use anything you like to remember, uh, and 456. So uh, if you try and think logically, right, you can actually remember how, how do you check a response of a person. So they should open their eyes, uh, they should be able to talk and they should be able to move. So it's easy to remember logically, but um, I want to remember in a sequence of EVM because uh, it's easier to remember the numbers 4, 5, 6 in ascending order. So for eye opening, E stands for eye opening, uh, is there, uh, and the full score is uh, 4, and for verbal response, V, the full score is 5, and for motor response, the full score is 6. So eye opening, verbal response, and motor response four five six EVM four five six. Okay, before we look at the Glasgow comma scale, how to how to use the Glasgow comma scale, um, we have to familiarize ourselves with two terms that we'll be using here. So uh, first is peripheral pain and central pain. So what's the difference? Peripheral pain is pain inflicted on the periphery. Central pain is pain inflicted on the central areas of your body. So um, in the video by GCS at 40, they inflicted peripheral pain on the nail bed by pressing a pen uh, or you can use any solid object against their uh, nail bed with increasing pressure for 10 seconds. Right. So and central pain uh, you can inflict it in two ways. Uh, you can inflict it on the trapezius muscle, uh, known as the trapezius squeeze, or you can inflict it on the supraorbital area, where you apply pressure on the bony prominence just above the eye. So, so this is known as supraorbital pressure. So you do all of this with increasing intensity for about 10 seconds. That's a standard. And let's go on to Glasgow Comma Scale. So if you can see here, there's a scoring. Uh, eye opening is uh, the best response is four, and the worst response is no response is one. For everything, the worst response is a score of one. So the lowest score you can get is one plus one plus one equals to three, right? Um, so uh, you can see as uh, eye opening is four going down to 1, verbal is 5 going down to 1, motor is 6 going down to 1. And okay, so we'll go through it one by one. Eye opening, uh, the best response is spontaneous eye opening. And then after that, uh, you can try and, and call their name and see if they open their eyes. And then uh, after that, if they don't open their eyes to name calling, uh, you can um, apply pain, peripheral pain. I already described how to apply peripheral pain. Um, and if their eyes opens in response to this, you give a score of 2 for eye. And then 1 is no response. For verbal, um, a score of 5 is the person can talk normally and is oriented to time, place, and person. So you ask, uh, what day is it today? Where are you now? Who am I? Uh, Who is the person beside you? These kind of questions. To see if they are oriented. If they are oriented, you give a score of 5, that's a full score. Uh, but if they are confused, uh, let's say they are in the hospital but they think they are in the school or they are at home, um, they are confused and they can't recognize the person beside them or they can't recognize you, they are confused and you give a score of 4. And after that is uh, inappropriate words. So uh, you ask them uh, certain questions and then they uh, give you uh, just um, one word responses and it's inappropriate for the questions you ask. So you give a score of 3 and then a score of 2 would be incomprehensible sounds. Either you talk to them and then they are having uh, weird sounds, weird noises like uh, or, uh, things like that that you can't understand as words. Uh, or you inflict pain and yeah, they are still responding with uh, just inappropriate words or, uh, or incomprehensible sound, you can give a score of 2. And no response is 1. For motor, full score is 6. So you ask them to raise their hand or 
open their mouth and stick their tongue out that's uh, obeying command so uh, that's full score for moto and then after that uh, is uh, localizes to central pain so you do the trapezius pinch or the supra orbital pressure um, and then um, if they move their hands towards the pain uh, is a uh, score of five and if he doesn't localize to the central pain you're gonna move down uh, uh, and you're gonna apply for uh, apply peripheral pain so uh, if they withdraw their hand away from the peripheral pain pain that would indicate a score of 4 and then after that they have a decorticate position if you inflict pain and they have a, a decorticate position uh, or it's also known as abnormal flexion uh, you give a score of 3 and if uh, they have the decerebrate break position or abnormal extension you give a score of 2. So, um, decorticate versus decerebrate, right? You can remember by um, decorticate as a cerebral cortex, so it's the upper portion of the brain. And, and then, uh, so for brain lesions, right? If it's below the red nucleus, it will cause a decerebrate position. If it's above the Red nucleus will cause a decorticate position because the red nucleus is responsible for um, the red nucleus is responsible for the flexion of your limbs, right? Uh, so if the lesion is below the red nucleus, uh, it will cut off the the pathway for the flexion of your limbs, and then you go into extension. So you have abnormal extension. But if the lesion is above your red nucleus, um, the red nucleus still has the flexion pathways. So you go into flexion. If you can uh, understand what I'm saying. Um, I might make another video to make it more clear. Uh, you can go ahead and watch it once I come up with it. But at the moment, uh, that's all I'm gonna say and um, one is no response so remember EVM and then uh, the increasing severity goes down by one point each time right and how do you score it so um, after you've calculated each of these uh, for I you're given let's say a score of 2 for verbal you're given a score of 3 and for motor you're given a score of 4 uh, you're gonna add all of this together so 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9 so you're gonna give a score of 9 so a score of 9 indicates a moderate brain damage and you're gonna manage accordingly right a way to remember this is just remember 9 to 12 is moderate and then anything below is serious and anything above is mild brain damage right okay and how do you record it you're gonna record let's say we have calculated GCS 9 and then um, uh, you're gonna state each field so E how many, V how many, M how many and record the time okay that's all I have for you thank you